In this problem, we're told a force of 35 newtons is required to start a 6 kilogram box moving across a horizontal concrete floor. What is the coefficient of static friction between the box and the floor? B. If the 35 newton force continues, the box accelerates at 0.6 meters per second squared. What is the coefficient of kinetic friction? So let's go ahead and draw what's going on here. So we have this 6 kilogram box. And so we know it's going to be on this floor and it's going to be moving. So here's our box is on this floor. And so let's label the different forces acting on it. So we know it's going to have mass times gravity acting on it, right? So it's weight force. And then since it's touching the ground, we know it's also going to have a normal force acting up against it. So F sub N. And so let's go ahead and start with A. So we know, or A is asking, what is the coefficient of static friction between the box and the floor? And so in order to solve this, you're going to use the formula F sub S, which is equal to mu sub S times F sub N. So uh, F sub S is just going to be the force required to start. And so they tell us this, right? So the static friction force is going to be 35 newtons because that's the force required to start. And you can think of it as a force going in this direction, right? 35 newtons. And so what we need is 35 newtons in order to overcome this, right? If, if it's less than that, it's not going to move. So you can think about it that way. And so we know F sub S is going to be 35. But we need to find, we're trying to find the coefficient of static friction, which is mu sub S, this variable right here. So what we need to do is find F sub N. And so how do we do that? So in order to find F sub N, we know that the sum of all the forces in the y direction is going to be equal to m times a. But in this case, a is just going to be 0, right? So it's going to be 0 equals, then what are the forces in the y direction? We have f sub n going up, and then we have m times g going down. So we can minus it, right? So you do the ones that are going up, positive, ones going down, minus. And if I move, to th uh, move m times g to the other side, we will get fn equals mg. So essentially, the normal force is just going to be the mass times gravity. And so we know the mass of the box, it's going to be 6 kg. So F sub n is going to be 6 times gravity, which we know is 9.8. So if you go ahead and do this, uh, 6 times 9.8, you're going to go ahead and get 58.8. And so what we can do now is just plug it into this. So we know F sub n is now 58.8 times mu sub s, and that's what we're solving for. So we can divide both sides by 58.8. That's going to give us the coefficient of static friction. So if you go ahead and do 35 divided by 58.8, you're going to get 0.595 or about that. So this right here is going to be your answer to A. Right? So keep in mind, uh, coefficient of static friction doesn't have any units, so it's just 0.595. So that's A. Let's move on to B now. So B is asking, if the 35 Newton force continues and the box accelerates at 0.6 meters per second squared, what is the coefficient of kinetic friction? So we're going to use the same exact formula here, except for we're going to be using F sub F, right? So F sub S, you can call it F sub K if you want. I'm going to call it F sub F. So the friction force is going to be equal to mu sub K, right? So our kinetic, our kinetic or coefficient of kinetic friction. And so we're multiplying that by F sub N. So it's essentially the same formula. But what we have to do in this case is solve for F sub F, right? So what we know is that the sum of the forces or the net force in the x direction, right? So this direction right here. So the sum of the forces in the x direction is going to be equal to m times a, right? So we know this. And so we can go ahead and solve for the net force, right? So we need to find the net force first. So if we plug in this m, we know it is 6. And then what they told us the acceleration in this problem. They told us it's 0.6. So if you go ahead and do this, you're going to get 3.6. And then F sub F, right? So if you think about this, right? F sub F, or the total sum of the forces, are, is going to be equal to your push force minus your net force, right? And so we just solve for the net force, correct? It's 3.6. So we know that. And then the push force, they tell us right in the beginning, right? It's 35 newtons. So we can just plug that in there. And that's going to allow us to solve for... Uh, the force of friction. So 35 minus 3.6, you're going to get 31.4. And so now that we've got 31.4, what we can do is plug it in, right, into this formula here. So 31.4 equals mu sub k, which is what we're solving for, times f sub n. And so keep in mind, we solve for the normal force in this last problem. We know it's 58.8. So times 58.8. And then what you're going to want to do is divide both sides to solve for the coefficient of kinetic friction. And so 
once you do this, 31.4 divided by 58.8, you're going to get about 0.534. I'm just going to go ahead and round that to 0.53, or you can round it however you want, but 0.53, that's essentially going to be uh, the coefficient of kinetic friction. And so yeah, hopefully you found this video useful.